Hello 3D printer peeps. I am sitting next to the beloved Creality Ender 3 Pro. This low cost entry level Creality machine is used by beginners, amateurs and professionals worldwide. It is extremely popular in the States due to a certain electronic store having an ongoing $99 sale for them, putting 3D printing in the hands of people who in years past could not afford it. The Ender 3 Pro is a fantastic machine that in the right hands can keep up side by side with some of the more expensive machines of today. However, one of the features missing in the Ender 3 Pro, a BL Touch or CR Touch, which are the same exact thing, often referred to as ABL, it comes in two main flavors, a BL Touch and a CR Touch. It's very important that you understand a BL Touch and CR Touch are both the same thing that run on the same firmware. The main difference between the BL Touch and the CR Touch is that the BL Touch is a product of a company called Anclap. The CR Touch is a product of Creality. The CR Touch has a build quality advantage using a metal probe and a body that is both built better and much nicer to look at. For comparison, here is the BL Touch. And here is the CR Touch. You can see there's quite a difference in build quality. This has a nice solid black case with a metal probe. This is a plastic case with an exposed circuitry and a cheap plastic probe. I am going to install a Creality CR Touch, but you may follow along with a BL Touch or a CR Touch. Here is the CR Touch box. It opens via a magnet closed flap in the front. It's very cool. And inside you'll find the touch probe itself and the mounts for the machine. Keep in mind that Creality bundles most of their accessories for compatibility with multiple machines. So there may be parts in this kit that you don't need. Here we have a look at the CR Touch and three possible brackets to use for installation. For the Ender 3 Pro, we'll be using this bracket. Okay, don't be scared, but we are going to take this cover off. You are going to remove this screw and this screw. You can see how easily the Ender 3 Pro cover just moved aside all on its own. Have a look at the screws that came with your CR Touch. We are going to take these two longer ones and use those. The reason we are using these longer ones is because we need to pass it through the cover and the bracket. Let's do that now. You will see how it fits nicely with a gap to leave space for that screw head. We're going to hold it in place and then place the cover back in place. You'll see the holes line up. That's where the longer screw comes into play because it's going to pass through the cover and the mount for the BL Touch or CR Touch, whichever one you're installing. And that's it, you've installed your probe mount just like that. Next up is the probe itself. You will see there is a little indentation to make room for the cable connection. It may be easier to install the probe first, but we are going to do it now. You are going to put the screw through the touch and then up from the bottom into the hole. I am using the screws that I took off the fan cover. You can use the screws that came with the touch. They are the same. And there you have it, the BL Touch or CR Touch installed on an Ender 3 Pro. Next up is to wire the probe to the motherboard. Don't worry, it's not terribly hard and we are going to do it together right now using the harness that came with your probe. To gain access to the motherboard, we have to remove a few small screws. To spot the first ones, we're gonna slide this board back and you will see this screw right here. Get a tool on it and just back it out. Next up, you're going to take your machine and just gently turn it to its side. Your motherboard is hiding under here, so we're going to pop off these three screws.
in case you aren't paying attention, short, short, long. Now we're going to remove this plate carefully because the fan is attached to it. Slide it out and just gently drop it down so we don't go ahead and tear our fan off. Hiding under that port is your scary looking motherboard. This is the part where I would like you to look at the motherboard where you see the Creality branding stamped and take note of the version number under the word Creality. It is very likely it will say 4.2.2, but please write down the number that yours says. This is the version of the firmware we will download and install later. Don't be afraid, we are only looking for one connection and it's right there. We are simply going to face the clip down and pop it in. When it comes to cable management, everybody has their own way. However, for this part, take this wire and feed it through this pre-existing gap in the frame to position the cable neatly toward the back of the machine where you will run it to the probe. Now you can put this cover back on. And put the screws back that you removed earlier. Remember the long one goes here in the back. And the short ones go here in the front. Don't forget you've got one more screw in the front so we will return the printer to its upright position and we'll find the hole again right there and simply pop that final screw back in. And now it's time to connect the wiring harness to the probe itself. I will start by feeding the cable behind the machine and then plugging it into the CR touch. It only fits one way. Please be sure you have it right and then just gently work it in. You might need to use a fingernail. Now that it's attached to the probe, I am just going to bring it over to the wiring harness and use a little zip tie. To attach it to the wiring harness. Now I'll go back a little further and attach another one. And I'll go back a little further and attach another one. And we'll go all the way down towards the bottom and attach one more. You can do as many as you want. You're just trying to make sure it's not a jungle with the wire dangling all over the place. That could get snagged on something. Now we are going to look right here. This is your Z-stop switch and we are going to disconnect it. Take this wire right here, unplug it, and just leave it there. And we are going to remove the Z-stop switch. It might come off easier than you think. Simply turn these two screws to loosen it up and pop it off. If you'd like, you can attach it to the frame in some manner, or you can feed it all the way out and get rid of it, or just let it float, because you will no longer be needing this wire or this C-stop switch. And that's it. We've installed the CR Touch or BL Touch to our Ender 3 Pro. However, do not turn it on. There's one more important step that we must complete and that is to upgrade the firmware to a probe compatible firmware. Keep in mind, BL Touch and CR Touch run on the same firmware. So if you have a firmware that supports the BL Touch, you can use it with a CR Touch. If you have the firmware for a CR Touch and you own a BL Touch, you can use that firmware. They are fully interchangeable. No changes are needed to be made. You can simply remove one probe and plug in another with no changes whatsoever and it will work. Let's go ahead and get that firmware updated. The first thing you're gonna do is pop the memory card out of your printer and stick it in a card reader. Head over to creality.com, click on support and click on official download center. When in there, just scroll down, look for Ender Series and look for the Ender 3 Pro. There it is, click on that. 
If you have a stock Ender 3 Pro, you most likely have the 4.2.2, but make sure you check and read the version number on the mainboard itself. Go ahead and download that file and look for BL Touch without transfer board. Open that up and simply copy this file however you want to the root directory of your memory card. By the root directory, I mean the very first directory when you open the card, not inside any folder, the root directory. And there it is. Pop the card out of your reader and bring it back to the printer. Now that you've put the proper firmware on your memory card, simply stick that memory card back in the printer. Now that you've installed the memory card with the firmware update into the printer, you can turn it on and the printer will automatically read and install that update. Click on your control knob, scroll down to control, look for BL touch and bed leveling. If you see those two options, your firmware update has been completed. The next thing we want to do is test the function of the probe. You do that by turning the probe on and observing the self test. And there you have it, our probe has successfully self-tested. Should the light stay red, your probe has failed the self-test. And I would not expect it to work. And you would need to figure out if there's something incorrect with your wiring or if the probe itself is defective. If it fits here happily with its light, then it's ready to go and waiting for instructions. And there it is, we have installed a CR Touch or BL Touch on an Ender 3 Pro 3D printer. To properly tram or level this bed, create an auto bed leveling mesh and set your Z offset properly. Look for my video on doing just that. For now, you are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor at 3drundown.com and installing the CR Touch or BL Touch on this Ender 3 Pro was today's adventure.